Welcome back. Now, superficially, of course, all of these things do seem to appear in our lives. They seem to walk in our worlds and they seem to affect things. But this is actually somewhat superficial. And when we are caught up only in the superficial interpretation, then we cannot see how to change the shadows which are taken for reality by the cave wall watchers, which is nearly everyone because it's all only the shadow cast by something much larger. And if you want to change what you seem to experience, if you want to change the shape of the shadow that's upon your cave wall, you must turn to that which is casting the shadow. You must see how you are casting the shadow into your world. You have to see how you're doing it. Where is it coming from? And this only begins to happen when you truly begin to see the oneness. Conspiracy theories will no longer draw your interest anymore. I mean, you'll see them, you'll note their shadow on, on the wall, but it will be viewed as only a minor detail to you. The shadow is nothing to try and manipulate. Instead, you will begin to look to change what is casting the shadow. And when you really know that this is how shadows are undone, trying to fight against conspiracies in any capacity that you considered before will simply fall away from you. You will see the senselessness, the uselessness, the outright silliness in trying to change a shadow. And instead, you will turn your head to see what is casting that shadow and begin to find out how to change that. And then, you will overcome all. And what we see when we turn our head from all these conspiracies and look over our shoulder at what is casting the shadow into our world is that it is cast by the shape of fear, born of this remaining hidden duality. We're still afraid because we still have an us and a them within our perception. There is at least a shard of duality there, and it's creating the very, very rare soil in which conspiracy can grow because the plant of conspiracy is a very special, very fragile plant. It can only grow in the soil of duality. It grows nowhere else. Nowhere. And the good news is, when you heal this hidden dualistic perspective, you will be aligning yourself with a law that will take care of the details for you. And somehow, these things will cease to be noticeable on your storyboard and in your life. At best, they'll hover at the fringes, at your peripheral, as they do for me, where they are only brought to my attention so that I can help to facilitate their healing their, and their reconciliation. But otherwise, they're nothing to me. Nothing. I have no attention for them other than the effort of helping to remove them. <laughs> Just ask those who have so patiently attempted to turn my attention to topics that I only see as details. Sorry, no can do. Because manipulating details or sh these shadows on the wall can only accomplish so much and by nature the results we seem to see are never long term. If you want the cure you must go to the root. This I know. Now the mechanics of how all this straightens itself out when you cure your hidden duality is something I may be able to effectively point to in another video but not right now. But that's okay. You don't need to know. <laughs> it's true. Knowing how all this comes to pass isn't required in order to fix it. Isn't that amazing and wonderful? In fact, you know, sadly, getting bogged down and trying to figure out these mechanics is a diversion that some of you listening to me today will immediately launch as you consider this video in order to try and ignore the points I'm trying to make today. You won't realize it, but trying to figure out these mechanics is busy work for your mind 
and those of you who aren't quite ready yet to lay all this down will go round and round and round in your heads until you just can't think about it anymore. And then exhausted, you'll walk away from these topics that I'm trying to bring you today. And you will fall back into the arms of your current habits, of whatever is comfortable to you right now. And that type of action is born from a world where we think reptilians, metaphorical or real, are still responsible for our choosing to sample some of the possibilities that we have transiently elected. And that the reptilians or the Illuminati type of figure is still responsible for manipulating you and holding you back. And so sadly, in your world, this will be so. But it's only true because you make it true. So don't do that. I hope you can see the very clear parallels here. Mr. Reptile is an archetypal figure, a scapegoat of sorts. And his existence in your reality, whether in person or theory, is all the proof that you need that you have not fully reconciled the true nature of oneness within you. Because in the same way that water in the solid form of ice has indeed been subjected to 32 degrees or lower, you know that whenever you see conspiracies or reptilians or Illuminati forces floating in someone's head, they have yet to fully reconcile the true nature of the oneness within themselves. Because these things are its byproduct. They're fruit. They are and as above, so below. And this is why often frustrated and perplexed friends and family cannot, for the life of them, get me to entertain the importance of any conspiracy theory du jour or whatever. I mean, I listen, I do, and I see it, if there's something to see. I see its shadow on the cave wall, but I can't keep looking at it. I reflexively turn my head like in Plato's cave, because I want to see what is actually casting the shadow. That is what draws my interest, not the shadow. The shadow is only details. I want to see where it's coming from, because what is casting the shadow and manifesting events in our world is born of not fully seeing this oneness. It is. There is still an us and a them, and that format is still lurking within our hearts as a people. And so we keep dreaming the villain again and again and again until the day we realize he is our dream. And we dream him no more. We stop dreaming him. We remove him from our storyboard, our reality. And this goes for all the villains in our world. Dream them no more. Give them no entrance. Please join me for the conclusion.